time this magician was here, he helped me fool Penn and Teller. Let's find out what's happened to him since. For a lot of people, it doesn't matter if they fool Penn and Teller, but I had to fool them. Of course, I had help. After many months, I finally found my guru. Hidden away in the Carpathian Mountains, who shared an ancient secret of magic with me. I also had the help of Allison. Magic! So I set myself a new challenge, to fool Ten and Teller a second time. Once again, I had to take the arduous journey up the Carpathian Mountains, braving the harsh elements to get the new instructions from the magic guru. I have undergone additional training and my guru has taught me a new magic secret. Once again, I must not fail. Going for his second Fool Us Trophy along with Penn and Teller, Andre Shinichka. Good evening. Allison, so nice to see you again. You too. Tell her. And while I get lost in Penn's eyes, Allison, please cut the deck. And complete the cut. Take the top card, don't look at it, and sit on it. Mm. Now, before I even look at the cards again, give them to Teller to shuffle. And Teller, please shuffle them real good. And now normally, I would try to read Alison's mind. But now we have three problems. The first problem is, she doesn't know what card it is. So there is nowhere to find the thought that would tell me the identity of the card. Now since she's sitting on the card, I could use the ancient art of butt reading. <laughs> but problem number two, so to speak, the card is most probably face down, so not even the butt knows. <laughs> and the third problem is that mind reading is <laughs> Knowing that I will be facing this problem tonight, I once again consulted my guru. Hidden away in the Carpathian Mountains, <laughs> my guru shared with me another ancient secret, a ritual to make my senses sharp as a spoon. <laughs> a very sharp spoon. So now I'm back on Penantala Fulas to present to you all the ancient ritual of Carpathia. It's a scarab. <laughs> An important symbol in ancient Egypt. This insect is a relative of the dung beetle, uh, which kind of ties into the fact that you're sitting on your cart right now. <laughs> My guru told me that the only way I would have the mental acuity to perform this miracle is to eat the beetle. Alison, quick! I need more power. Feed me. Oh, really? Oh, quick! Oh, there's more in there. Here, one more. Oh. I feel the power. <laughs> <sighs> Mm. 
three cards have spoken to me. And I feel a leg in my teeth. Oh. One card tells me the color of your card. Yes. One card tells me the value of your card. And one says the suit. So, your card is a black card. Your card is an ace. And the card you've been sitting on for the entire time is the ace of spades. Would you please show us, Alison? Is it? Yes! The power of the dung beetle is supreme. It's pretty terrible. I, I wouldn't recommend anyone to no. have one. Oh, and you've got some on your teeth. No. 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 Thank you. All right. Well, actually, I think they might struggle a little bit. I have one left. In case you need to sharpen up your senses. Bon appetit, Tally. <laughs> oh, Tally, you don't need that. You're real sharp. Oh. 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 oh! That makes me so happy, Kelly. May we look at the cards? Oh, you want to look at them right here? Well, I... we'll 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 take them with okay. us. All right. <laughs> Thanks. What, 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 we'll be over you, here if you need us. What are you oh, looking for? Us. What are we looking for? Yeah. How the oh. trick is done. Oh. <laughs> So what's next for you in your magic career? Um, fooling Penn and Teller for the second time. Oh, wow. All right, let's go to the boys and see if they figured it out. Yes. Uh, you know that we know that you know that we know. There's a lot of that going on. Last time you were on, you gave us a deck of these cards that were gimmicked and told us how they were gimmicked. So you're not going to use that again. You're eating beetles. You're, you're doing all this great stuff, great pattern. We loved everything about it. We love you. We love everything except where we are right now. We know that you were counting on Allison doing something that she did. You had a pretty good idea what she was going to do, and that was all set up. And you had a pretty good idea what you were looking for. And you kind of really did it the way you claimed you were doing it. When you were looking through the cards, you were kind of looking through the cards. We know that, but we don't think we could do it as fast as you did it. We think there might be something else. So we're gonna ask you, with what I've told you right now, we're gonna do something you've never done on this show before. You tell us, do you get a trophy or not? <laughs> I know what you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We right. love you, we think you're great, we don't know everything you did. We know some of it. So tell us, smarty pants communist. <laughs> tell her even went so far as to when he shuffled the cards, he turned them around just to be a <laughs> But you still did it. So you tell me. All of a sudden, it's your show. I, I would say it's called so-and-so's Fool Us, but I can't even say your name! <laughs> so right now, right now, we've never done this in history. Either way you go, we're gonna run up and give you a hug and shake your hand and tell you how great you are back there. But you know in your heart what you know. Does that trophy come down or not when we walk up there? I think it does. <gasps> okay.
tell her. Will there be another? Find out after this.